Welcome to Sekuli X tutorial number one, Introduction and Setup. In this series, we'll be learning how to competently use the automation software Sekuli X. Every video have all slideshows and code available in the description. There are no prerequisites for this tutorial, however I highly recommend that you have some beginner level experience in a programming language. Python will be quite useful, as Sekuli script uses Python. What is Sekuli X? Sekuli X is automation software that uses image recognition to identify and control GUI elements. It allows automating any task that you can visibly see and do yourself. Sekuli X uses the Python programming language for its Sekuli X script, or more specifically it uses Jython. Sekuli X is built with Java and can be run on Windows, Mac and Linux. The project is open source and was originally started at the user interface design group at MIT. The topics we'll be looking at in this series are the basics of the IDE and the basic concepts, conditional automation, conditional looping, and finishing off with a practical example. Now for the setup. First thing we want to do is go to the SekuliX.com website and navigate to the downloads area. It doesn't matter what operating system you're on, we download the same .jar file. Once we have SekuliX downloaded, we can install it. However, this requires having Java runtimes installed. So if you don't have Java installed, you need to pause here and go and install it. All right, so let's come over to the website. So it's sekuliax.com. And over here on the right, there's a get it section. And we want to go to get version 1.1.0 uh, at the time of this video. So this will take us to the downloads area. And we want to come down to the jar file that we want to download, which is the sekuliax setup dash and then the version number dot jar. So we can click on that and it'll start downloading. Choose a place to save it, and the place that you place your install uh, file is the place that we're going to install to and store all of our scripts. So think about it before you save it somewhere. Now that we've got it in our folder ready to go, we can install it. If you've placed your Sekuli in a folder that requires admin privileges, you'll want to run it as an administrator or with sudo. Okay, we double click it to start the install and it'll start setting up. A GUI will pop up, and from here we can follow the prompts. It will ask us which pack we want. Unless you know what you want to use Sekuli X for, I recommend just getting pack 1. So we click on pack 1, and hit set up now. The installer will then download the required files and set up the environment so you're good to go. Alright, Sekuli X is installed, and you're good to go. The next thing we'll be looking at is the basics of Sekuli X. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.